usually traveled in groups of 10 to 15 coaches in a, in a train. The first groups coming over when they were building the road. If they came to an area where... First patch of snow it's in southern Washington. Lingering from a little storm that dropped a foot here last week. Here we go again. <laughs> Our old friend. People have even post told already. <laughs> yeah. Day 71 on the trail, and we are officially beginning the High Sierra section. So we stayed at Kennedy Meadows North yesterday. Really cool place, about 3,000 feet down below where we're at now. Maybe 4,000 feet. We're actually hiking at 10.7 right now. So <laughs> as high as we've gotten, it's very windy. I don't know how much you will. Hands in tow now. Our packs are much heavier, so it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. But we're going to try to do under 20s to about 30. Just got to get ourselves into mammoth legs. Guys, it's just windy today, not very cold, so that's just good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that whirl, <laughs> yeah. So, I've been getting uh, botany lessons from some other hikers. And they've told me, taught me that uh, these short little stunted trees are called white bark pines. And they grow on the west coast in really hostile, windy alpine environments. So we're still above 10,000 feet, but they stay really low and they're really adapted for this environment. They're really cool, they're just occupying this little windy ridge tide. So we just finished climbing north the pass. Yosemite National Park. Not the valley, <laughs> as you can tell, but this is the northernmost entry point to the park. So I think this makes our fifth national park. We've got a view of Dorothy Lake. Now that we're in the Sierras and entering Yosemite and uh, there's some other national parks, Kings Canyon, Sequoia, a lot of these areas require a bear cam. So it's strapped right on the top of my squat little pack because when it's inside, it just barrels it out. It feels like a barrel on your back. So this is my first time ever carrying a bear cam, but straps on there nice and sturdy on the Paper light. Good morning. It's September 29th, day 72 of the hike. 
Uh, we started our morning off right here in Yosemite, in Yosemite backcountry with a thousand foot climb. Started around 6.20, we're descending now. Had a nice exciting morning. I, uh, well, we intended to start at six, but in the process of changing my routine to accommodate this bear canister, I was trying to compress the contents of my bag more than usual in the dark. And uh, my hand slipped, punched myself right in the nose and uh, started bleeding all over the place. Got a little bit of blood on my shorts, all over my hands, some on my jacket. It's kind of a mess. <laughs> so we were a little delayed this morning, but I don't know, there might be some residue. There's a little bit of residue there, but most have cleaned up now. Moving, so bears will have to chase me if they want to get me. But uh, yesterday we managed 29.5 miles starting at 9.30 when the shuttle dropped us off at the top of Sonora Pass from Kennedy Meadows North. So we felt pretty good about that. We got in maybe about 20, 30 minutes after dark. Um, today's probably gonna be one of our most difficult days on trail yet. We're looking at about 8,000 plus feet of elevation gain over what we're well, I'm hoping to do 30 miles. So if we manage the 30 miles, it'll be a little bit over 8,000, about 8,500 actually. But anyhow, um, we've been told by Northbounders this is a particularly tough section. So um, the day after, um, maybe tomorrow, should be a little bit easier. We're hitting a section of Yosemite called Ptolemy Meadows. It's much flatter. So put into work today. Hopefully have a little bit of an easier day tomorrow. So we won't get to pass through the valley, it's the Yosemite Valley where Half Dome and Yosemite Falls and all the famous features of Yosemite are, but we still get to see some pretty nice granite. That's an impressive piece in my opinion. Just summited Benson Pass at just over 10,000 feet, it's about 2 o'clock. We're gonna take a late lunch. That was our biggest climb of the day. Quite enjoying my lunch spot here today at the top of Benson Pass. Just finished a 3,000 foot climb. So not gonna lie, I just uh, took a spill and landed right on my right thigh. And uh, that is where I keep this GoPro. So I'm quite happy that it's still working. Um, I'm fine, but anyhow, this is Schmedberg Lake. It is more beautiful than its name. Um, I quite like that name though. It sounds like if you were to give like Mike, Sam, Ian or I the opportunity to name a lake, I think together we might come up with Schmedberg. It's very pretty. Hilton Head, Assateague, Ocean City, right in the Sierras. If you could carry a four pound beach lawn chair up here, you could soak in some Alpen sunshine. Good morning, it's September 30th, day 73 of the hike. Uh, yesterday was probably 
physically one of the toughest days on trail. Um, we ascended about 8,500 feet and descended, I think, over 7,000, which makes for a you know, almost 16,000 day elevation, 16,000 feet of elevation change during the day, which is a lot. Um, it's a good day nonetheless. We still got our 30 miles in. Definitely felt it more at the end of the day with some sore muscles and joints and knees compared to usual. Um, but Yosemite is absolutely stunning. I mean, I've never been to the valley, um, but I'm still really enjoying it. Beautiful granite everywhere. Um, we're gonna grab some water here this morning. Today we're gonna be walking through Tulumne Meadows, um, which is a nice flat area, apparently pretty picturesque. Um, do another 30 and then tomorrow we'll be getting into Mammoth Lakes for a break before we head into the one of the highest sections of the Sierras um, and follow the course of the JMT for over 250 miles. View from just above Tuolumne Falls. You can hear the plunging water from here. As we're getting further and further into the Sierras, the terrain is becoming more predominantly just slabs of granite. Even this river, the Tuolumne River, especially downstream from here, I should have got some video, is just flowing over big slabs of granite. Even the trail at times, we just walk over the granite slabs. That's really cool, a different environment than I've been in and witnessed before. Stone Lodge here, built in 1918 by the Sierra Club as a meeting house. Amazing views of tall May Meadows. This is called Soda Springs, a natural mineral spring. See if it's as good as uh, Perrier. Probably not. If it's good, I might add a flavor, a flavor packet to it to make some grape soda. Post taste review. Very minerally, very slightly carbonated, but I'm not sure if it's worth adding the flavor packet to for a little grape soda. But I don't mind it actually. Nice change up. And the PCT has now conjoined with the JMT. Quite the interesting mushroom here found along the trail. It's like a textured ice cream cone. Never seen one like that before. Hmm. Wish I knew what it was. This is just stunning. Makes me feel like I'm in Peru again. These giant peaks lingering above. Beautiful high up and meadow here. What a stunning time to be in the mountains. You've got greenery turning into deep hues of red and yellow with fall coming in. Snow still lingering up top, and just great, fantastic weather. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's perfect temperature out here for hiking. I think it's probably about mid 50s. Uh, I mean, this Alpen lake in front of me is full of wild brook trout. This is my happy place. <laughs> only got one mile and 500 feet to go to the pass.
here at the top of the climb up the Donahue Pass here. It's nothing but granite and hard work, but it's stunning up here. Just like that, I'm at uh, 11,000 for the first time in the hike, 11,090 feet I believe, peaceful, quiet, barely a breeze up here. picking it up or not but there are coyotes howling back and forth to one another from on top of the ridge and down in the basin below beautiful sunset from camp tonight lake view Ridge view, peak view, maybe we'll hear the coyotes howling again. Good morning, it's October 1st, day 74. Um, yesterday, we camped at about 10,000 feet. Uh, beautiful sunset view. Honestly, everything's been beautiful for the past 100 miles or so since we entered Yosemite in the Sierras. We've got a great view of Mount Davis here in the distance this morning. We already did a 600 foot climb up Island Pass. Um, today, it's time for us to go back into town, get some more food. We're gonna go into Mammoth Lakes, the ski town. Um, we don't know yet. We have options to go into town at about 13 miles, 18 miles, 20 miles. We'll see how we're feeling, but in all likelihood we'll probably end up spending the night in town since it's gonna take us a while to do. A resupply. Also, um, I need to pick up my uh, puffy down jacket from a business that I had mom send it to. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good day. It was really cold last night. Um, still slept fairly warm, but there was some icy condensation on the inside of my tent this morning. So. And expect that for at least another week sleeping at these high elevations. I am sad to be missing fall back in Pennsylvania, the apple cider, the pumpkin pies, festivals, but I think that fall in the high Sierras is a reasonable substitute at least for this year. Great hiking weather, beautiful scenery. So cool, that's awesome. Did you hear them or just see them? No, I just like saw them crossing the river and I was like, holy shit. But it's like, it was like three of them. There are so many of them up here apparently. I mean, we heard them, like on, there had to have been at least and separate coyotes. Yeah. It's awesome. First day of October. Colors are changing. Welcome to fall in the Sierras.
these are the same color pattern of shoes, just probably two weeks apart. <laughs> people I've hiked with for probably ever <laughs> in the uh, 74 days of trail. Four to ten. Good morning. It's Sunday, October 2nd, day 75 of the hike. So yesterday we had the amazing fortune of being able to stay in this tiny little cabin above 9,000 feet here in the Sierras near Mammoth Lakes. So we hiked 20 miles to Red's Meadow where there's a parking lot and our friend Barefoot, who was um, off trail taking a zero for the day with his girlfriend, um, was staying at this cabin and he actually offered for us to stay here. So he came and picked us up yesterday from the trailhead. We went to town, got a resupply, um, picked up some gear that we had shipped to the local outfitters um, did dinner in town, even grabbed lunch actually, hung out the cabin last night, had a great time, and still got 20 miles in for the day. So we're headed back to the trail today um, to continue probably the crown gem of the trail, um, the JMT portion of the trail, the John Muir Trail. Um, we've got about a 120 mile stretch to go um, over some really high passes around we're going to be getting to 12,000 feet during this stretch and uh, we've got some beautiful weather ahead according to the forecast so things couldn't get better some chocolate crispies with ice cream this is a hiker's breakfast <laughs> 